police officers at a rally in New York last month. He will reportedly publish an op-ed in a newspaper. Police have called for a boycott of his movies, including his new one, The Hateful Eight, after Tarantino made a reference to a recent incident of excessive force by police. Tarantino was quoted as saying, if you believe there's murder going on, then you need to rise up and stand up against it. I'm here to say I'm on the side of the murdered. Carl Dix is co-founder of Stop Mass Incarceration Network along with Cornell West and was a leader in last month's Rise Up October protests, and that's where Quentin Tarantino made the comments, and Mr. Dix joins us now, and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Fred. So tell me more about the rally, about the protests where Quentin Tarantino made the, made the comments. What was the, the purpose of the protests? Well, the purpose of the protests was to stop police terror and to pose a very sharp question to all of society, which side are you on? Because we've seen too many cases of police killing unarmed innocent people, police brutalizing people like the little girl in the South Carolina school. And we've seen the legal system do nothing to punish hardly any of these killer cops. And we felt it was very necessary for people to stand up, to rise up, and to say that this must stop, and to challenge everybody to look at this and decide whether they're on the side of acting to stop it, or are they on the side that says it's okay for it to continue to go down, because there's no middle ground and no neutrality in the face of this kind of injustice. I'm going to read you a statement from a part of a statement from the National Association of Police Organizations. This is a statement that was posted online uh, about what Quentin Tarantino said. It said, anti-police rhetoric like Tarantino's threatens the safety of police and citizens alike. The police he is calling murderers are the same officers who were present nice along yeah. the protest route to ensure the safety of protesters, who provide security when he is filming, and who put their lives on the line to protect our communities day in and day out. Um, do you think they have a point? No, they don't have a point. What this protest was about was about police who literally are allowed to get away with murder. I mean, look, I saw Eric Brown choked to death. The grand jury and the prosecutor could see no criminal activity in that. Well, I saw it. And you can tell me that that's legal and they did nothing wrong. But let's be clear, slavery, enslaving African Americans was at one time legal. Jim Crow segregation and lynch mob terror was at one time viewed by the system as legal. They're telling us today that police killing people, especially black and Latino people, is now legal. Well, that's not something that I can accept. That's not something that many, many people will accept. And there were more than 100 families who had lost loved ones at the hands of the police speaking at this rally. And I don't think anyone who stood with those family members and together with them said that this brutality and this murder, this terror has to stop, has anything to apologize for. Are you disappointed that you're hearing now, at least one publication is reporting that he might apologize for, for his comments? Are you disappointed? What are your thoughts? Well, I'm waiting to hear what he actually <laughs> says, you know, because I, I've heard the reports. I'm going to see what he has to say, but I don't think anybody who participated in that protest has anything to apologize for. And what Mr. Tarantino said is he talked about cops who are killing people unjustly and getting away with it. And there's no reason to back away from that or apologize. And I'm going to wait to see what he does say. Mr. Dix, thank you much, very much for coming in. Carl Dix. Thank you for having me on. Thank you. For a look at what's coming up at the top of the hour, my friend John Siegenthaler just stepped into the studio. Hi, John.